Hi guys, it's Karina and today I'm going to be showing you guys how I do my eyebrows. They're obviously not done yet and they are not filled in. So this is what my eyebrows look like without any product on them. Um, they're really sparse. They've actually grown in a lot since my last eyebrow tutorial, which I posted about, I would say like a year ago, year and a half ago. Um, if you guys have been following me since my first tutorial that I've ever made on YouTube, you guys would know that like my eyebrows have actually grown in. I was not blessed with super thick and full eyebrows, which is why I do this routine every single day. So yeah, I think that's all I have to say. Um, I'm just going to get straight into the tutorial, so if you guys want to see how I do my eyebrows, then keep on watching. Right now I just zoomed in so you can get a closer look of my eyebrows. For grooming your eyebrows, I'm not going to get too detailed into like how I groom my eyebrows. If you guys want to see a video on that, then just let me know. Um, what I usually do is I just take a mirror and I go into natural lighting, so I'll face a window or I would go outside or something like that and just take any type of mirror and then just take some tweezers. I just take these simple Revlon tweezers. I really like these. I got these from a drugstore for about like $8. And I just pluck down here. I don't like to pluck too much up here. I like to use scissors, but... The main things for grooming your eyebrows is just to basically go into natural light just so you can get all the hairs and just make sure you don't cut too much of your eyebrows off, too much of your eyebrows off or pluck too much of your eyebrows just because you don't want your eyebrows to disappear like mine did a couple years ago. So I'll just get into how I fill in my eyebrows and what I use, I used to use just an eyebrow pencil but I found that this eyeliner from Urban Decay is actually a perfect color for my eyebrows and it's waterproof and it goes on really really nicely and I just take this um, eyebrow I don't even know what this is to be honest with you basically just dip it into the product I realized that this works a lot better than actually putting the product onto your eyebrow because you have more control and it goes on a lot softer so yeah just do that and then where you're gonna start is for your eyebrows I like to concentrate most of my product most of the product here in the arch because that's the that's the part of the eyebrow that you want to define and um, if you put too dark, make it too dark here, it just gets really harsh and it just doesn't look natural at all. So what I do is I just take a mirror and I just look into it and I'm just going to start at the arch of my eyebrow and you don't want to start at the top if that makes sense. Like You don't want to start at the top up here, you want to start down where the... Um, down like on the bottom of your eyebrow. I don't know how to explain it, but you just basically start down here and then just define that arch and just use um, like a variety of short and long strokes when you do this. I like to do long strokes for like when you're trying to make a line and then short strokes to like fill it in. So like here I'll just make a line because I want no I want this pointed and then here I'll just start filling it in like this. And once you're done lining the bottom part, you're going to want to take your um, take your hand, move it back to the end of the brush. And then you're just going to want to lightly just fill this in. And for this part, for this end of the eyebrow, you can keep using more product. It's just when you get towards the middle, you don't want to use a lot of product. So you can just keep taking more product and then just putting it on the edge of your eyebrow. So I think that's how I like it. And as you can see, this part is usually a lot darker for me. I don't know why. But it just is just more hair grows there. So I think the end of that eyebrow is done. And I'm just going to do this side. The same exact way. Okay, so now that you're done with that and you pretty much use most of the product that's already on your brush, now you're going to start um, moving your brush into the inner corners. I like to go to about like right there and right there. When you do this, you want to pretend like there's an imaginary line right here. Just take your brush and if you feel like you have to, like if you don't want it too harsh, it's better to put less product and keep building instead of putting too much and like trying to take it off because when you do that with your eyebrows it's just gonna be like a big mess so you can just take your brush and just wipe it wipe most of the product off onto your um, onto like the back of your hand and then you're gonna take your brush 
and just keep bringing it in towards the middle, but don't go past that imaginary line. So you're just going to keep bringing it in and just keep using short strokes. And this is going to give your eyebrow just a nice like, gradient effect. So as you can see, like it's already coming in towards the middle, and that's exactly what you want. And then what I like to do is, instead of going this way, you want to take your brush, turn it this way, and then just kind of square it off. Just like that. And that's one completed eyebrow, and I'm just going to finish this next one. There we go. That's almost done. And that pretty much completes my eyebrows. Sometimes if it's like a special occasion, I like to define my eyebrows and I'll just take this brush right here and I'll use a concealer. And this is just going to make your eyebrow, like the arch of your eyebrow stand out a little bit more and it'll just lift it, which I love. So you shouldn't take a little bit of the concealer and then just brush, use your brush and kind of like wipe some of it off. And then you should take it into the arch or your brow bone and then just kind of define that brow. Just like that. And I like to use this brush just because it blends this out so nicely and it's just really, really quick. And also, if you guys are going into like the pool, or if you just want your eyebrows to stay all day, um, and if you guys sweat a lot, or if you have oily skin, you might want to set your eyebrows with the uh, with the eyeshadow. I just use make sure it's matte though. You don't want like shimmery eyebrows. Um, just like a matte brown or whatever color you use shadow, and then it'll just set your eyebrows and make it pretty much waterproof. And that's what I like about um, this eyeliner pencil. It's waterproof, so it shouldn't come off like if you go swimming or whatever. And there we go. See how that just like defines the brow a little bit more, makes them stand out, and makes them like the focal point of your face, especially if you're not wearing any eye makeup, which I'm only wearing mascara. So by doing that, it makes your eyebrows stand out so much more. There we go. And I think that is pretty much it. Um, if you wanted to set it, you would just take the same brush, dip it into the powder, and then start, do like the same thing but with the, with the powder and just make sure you tap it off because you don't want your eyebrows to be too harsh. And then just start again in the corner and then if you need to bring it, I wouldn't bring it all the way in, but I would bring it probably to about like right here. Let me zoom you guys out so you can see my face. And that is what my face looks like with my brows completed. As you can tell, um, this isn't to like draw in my eyebrows, but it's just to fill them in, look, uh, fill them in, yet make them stand out and make them look natural like all at the same time. If you aren't blessed with thick eyebrows, hopefully this video helped. Um, I have an Instagram. If you guys want to follow me on Instagram, it is Karina Lynn Co. And I'll leave it like right here. And do I have anything else to say? I will be in Hawaii from August 12th to August 23rd. And I'll be, ooh, my boyfriend is just like sneezing away. Um, I'll be in, I'll be on, I'll be in, I'll be, how do you say this? I'll be on the island of Oahu. And if you guys are there, maybe I can like meet some of you guys or if I see you guys around or something like that. But yeah, if you guys see me, then definitely say, oh my God iPad. But yeah, if you guys see me, definitely come up to me and say hi. I'm super excited for that trip and I just can't wait to get done with work. And I think that's about it. Um, I love you guys and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!